and said, Ha ha, you can fly, but you can't hide. There we go, the southern black tit. Beautiful little bird. And it's funny because we get a lot of black birds that look like drungos, but then you start paying more attention and then you see the white coming through and you're like, ah, oh, but you're not a drungo, you're something else. So this is a bird that we hear probably more than what we actually get to see it, and it's often around with other birds in bird parties. So just like we see the different species of antelope feeding all together, often birds will do it as well because there are more eyes looking out for everyone. So it's for safety reasons. Now if you see here, this is the one that we were looking at, the southern black tit. Very beautiful little bird. And it's quite small, I think about maybe just 10-15 centimeters, not more than that. And very, very noisy little bird. Southern black tit. There you go. It occurs in all of this area, pretty much from the south all the way up to Zimbabwe, and then Namibia all the way over here. Alright, I think at least we managed to have a little bit of a look, so we will carry on, because I think this bird party has carried on moving, flying away from all of us, but we've 